Okay, today I'm going to show you how to write a multiple merge add-in for Excel. Uh, let's go down here and open up Excel. And what I mean by multiple merge add-in, you know, if you want to if you want to merge, say these cells here together, then you would highlight them and you would hit merge and center and that would merge the cells. <clears throat> well, let's say if you wanted to merge those and then you wanted to come down here and merge these cells and merge these and so forth. And let's say you had about 50 of them to do. Well, that wouldn't be too fun doing that. And in Excel, if you, if you highlight all the way down to however many you want, and it's not going to merge it individually. If you hit merge and center, you can see it merges it all into one big cell. Okay? So what this multiple merge does is you can select a region like this and you can hit multiple merge and it'll merge these three, then it'll come down and merge these three, merge these three. Well, as far as I know, Excel doesn't have a feature like this, so I've written an add-in that would do that. So let's go ahead and unmerge the cells that we've merged. Okay. <coughs> so now, to get started, we need to uh, open up the Visual Basic Editor. To open up the Visual Basic Editor, you go to Tools, Macros, and Visual Basic Editor and click on it. You can either do that or you can hit Alt F11. Now, first thing we need to do is come in here and add a module. So let's insert module. Alright, now let's start typing our code and let's just name this sub multi merge and hit enter and you can see it puts the end sub now all of our code is going to go between sub multi merge and end sub <clears throat> so let's start off by declaring our variables so let's put in a comment this is multiple merge and center. Okay? So that's going to be a comment and you can see that it turns green so that line is not executed in the code. <coughs> now some variables that we're going to need and to, and to declare a variable you put dim and our first one is going to be in row as integer. The next one is going to be dim in column as integer. And then we'll have dim first row as integer. Uh, dim first column as integer and then dim last row as integer and dim last column as integer <coughs> all right so that's that's going to be all the variables that we're going to need for this particular add-in. So let's begin first by checking some things. Uh, first thing we might want to do is see if a workbook is open. All right. Uh, if there isn't a workbook open, of course it'll it won't do anything. So what we're going to do is if the workbook is not open, so if active 
workbook is nothing, then exit sub and hit enter. All right. So what this is, if active workbook is nothing, then exit sub. What that's going to do is, if there's not a workbook open, it's just going to not run. It's going to it's going to stop at this particular line of code and exit the sub. <coughs> now, one thing we can't do is we want to we can't select multiple regions. So let's see if multiple area areas are selected. Okay. So if selection dot areas dot count is greater than one then okay, and we'll indent and we'll put a message box Active. Oops, I'm sorry. Cannot merge cells in a multi area selection. enter and then we'll tell it to exit sub so it won't run it and whenever you have an if statement you need to end if you always need to have that end if whenever you start an if statement so we have if selection dot areas dot count is greater than one then it's going to pop up a message box saying cannot merge cells in a multi area selection and notice the whatever your message is going to be needs to be in quotes and then underneath that we hit exit sub so it'll stop the routine all right something else we, we might want to do is see if the workbook is protected okay if the workbook's protected then we'll tell it we'll get it to exit the sub so if active workbook dot protect structure then We'll do another message box. The active workbook is protected. Period we'll tell it to exit sub okay and end yeah okay all right uh, we'll finish the code up in part two of the video I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far